Hey everyone, it's Clint from ATAX Camo and Black Skull Tactical. Today, we're going to take just a couple minutes to talk about one of our new brand partners, Snake Eater Tactical Belts. First, what we'd like to talk about is uh, basically when you order from, uh, from Snake Eater Tactical, you're going to get what's called a war, war fighter belt. Now, when they show up in the mail, it's going to look something like this here. You're going to see them come with a dump bag, an outer belt or duty belt, a padded belt, and then the inner belt here. So you can kind of see what they look like. Chris up at Snake Eaters decided to go ahead and put me together a belt so I could check it out and give it a little run and see what I thought. Now, that being said, um, with my experience in the military and law enforcement uh, areas, I'm very specific about what I'm looking for in a duty belt or a tactical belt. Now, some of the things that I see tac uh, Snake Eaters is doing with their belts is just much, much better than some of the other belts that I've used in the industry. Um, first, we'll talk about the inner belt. Now, for Snake Eaters, on their, uh, their belt system, it comes with an inner belt. Now, the inner belt is what you wear that's weaved through the tactical pants or your belt loops on your on your trousers. Now they use again they use a hypalon belt which is a very thin um, kind of like a, a, a coated nylon belt. But uh, what I like about this is it's so thin that as you wrap it around and run it through your belt loops and it comes back and attaches to itself it has a small loop of velcro here that will go around and secure it together. Now that being said what I like about this is it's very minimal. Now when you run this through your pants, you bring it around and attach it, and your pants are held up, then you're ready to go ahead and put the, the other layers of the belt on. So there's your Hypalon belt there. Now the next thing that you're going to see with uh, Snake Eaters is this padded belt, which uh, it's done with a small bit of like closed cell foam or something like that inside of our heavy mesh webbing, and this is the ATAX IX pattern here. Now on each side you'll see there's some hook tape and some pile tape on each side and this comes around and it will actually attach to itself there so you'll see that's the padded portion of the belt. Now thirdly is what would actually be the duty, duty portion of the belt where all your accessories or your equipment will attach to the actual two inch webbing here. When you're out on the range and you're going to be out there for a while shooting or training or whatever or you're downrange somewhere and you're, you're going to have this belt on for an extended period of time and it's loaded out, you've got a firearm on it, you've got multiple magazines, maybe some medical pouch, knife, some accessories, things like that and you're going to be wearing it all day, you can either wear it with the padded belt or you can actually just put on the Hypalon belt and you can put on your duty portion of the belt and just wear it like that for a little bit of shooting for the afternoon or something. So I like the modularity with the padded belt, the Hypalon belt, and the duty belt, three pieces. Now let's talk just a little bit about the belt itself. Now some of the things that I, I really, really like about this belt um, is when you take a look at the back side of the belt here, um, what you'll find on your two inch webbing here is what's called channeling. Okay, so what they've done is they've taken some some uh, Velcro hook and loop, and they've taken it and ran this down the back side of the belt. That's what your padded belt will hook to, or the Hypalon belt will hook to. But more importantly, each one of these channels is where each one of these accessories ties into. The cool thing about this is, is once you get everything set in here, it's in its, in its own channel and it will not shift up and down the belt. More importantly for that, I've seen a lot of companies that make their, their, take their belts and they run that channeling on the outside of the belt. The difference in that is, is if the channeling is on the outside and you take like, for say, a, a pouch or a piece of Kydex and you try to run it through that channeling, now you have an inner belt, a padded belt, the, the operational part of the belt or the duty belt, then a piece of equipment on top of it. So now you're talking belt, belt, piece of equipment. Now it's sticking out real far. For me, what I wanted was something that was really tight in on the belt. And when it actually slides on and goes through the channeling on the back side of the belt, it holds it in on the belt. Plus, again, either no pad or hypalon belt keeps it close up to your body. When you tighten it down, it wears very comfortably like that. Now, we look at the belt itself. 
one of the things I like, I got this belt, the war belt with the, uh, the, the Cobra buckle on it, plus the D-ring. Um, I like sometimes not only be able to use this for an emergency situation, repelling or belaying or um, using it some for some kind of an attachment to an aircraft, the D-ring is nice to have as a feature. That also, what I like to do is I like to run a couple of these small little uh, opening D-rings right here. I usually like to put my sweat rag or my uh, eye protection, my hearing protection, a pair of gloves, something right up here in front where I can get to it on my belt. Um, you'll see here that I have, you know, my small arms magazine here, a, a, a primary weapon magazine, a knife holster, and my holster. Now the Kydex here is made from index fasteners, um, and it's it's where the, the the actual pattern is in the Kydex, so it's very abrasion resistant. This custom Kydex is here is made by another one of our brand partners, Lead Farmers Incorporated. Great stuff. So one thing I like about this dump pouch here is. It lays, lays fairly flat. Um, it also has a piece of webbing ran through it to give it a little bit of strength. So if you're dumping a lot of magazines in here, it won't you know, wear through your, your mesh. So that feature is inside of it. What they've also started adding is a little bit of Velcro to the front so you can put one of your little snake eater patches on there. Or now it has the drawstrings. You can actually tighten it up or loosen it if you want to put something in there and keep it from coming out. Now, one of the other things about this, sometimes I don't want a dump bag hanging down and inherently in the design of this dump bag, what you can do is just take it, pull it closed, fold it, fold it again, pull it up, and you can use the actual drawstrings to just tie it down very quickly with a quick square knot. And what you'll have is now your dump pouch is now tied up and it's not hanging down dragging. So we're coming on over here to my holster. I use a slightly dropped Kydex holster. I like mine a little lower. And then finishing out with the end of the Cobra buckle here on the other side. Now, snake eaters, uh, as when you get it in your, your little kit here, it'll come with one loop of, of um, elastic loop. So you can go ahead and secure the leading end of your belt. Tighten that down. Once you get it sized, you will not really need to undo this again because as you put it together, it just comes around and snaps into your buckle and all this leading in is tucked away. So what it ends up looking like is you take your padded pouch, start on one end, go ahead and put it in, run it down. Your Hypalon belt will come in here and come in, run it down the belt. As this comes around, it will tuck in here, hook to your Cobra belt, and this is more what the what the belt will look like once all the padding and every everything is inside of it. Snake Eaters is making an incredible belt. I, again, the modularity. I like the channeling on the belt. I like the design. Uh, everything sits sits on it very well. I've ran. I've used it on the in, in the field and stuff and training great belt. So if you want more information about snake eaters, look them up on the web at snakeeaters.com or you'll find more information about them as a brand partner on atax.com. So you guys, until next time, y'all stay hidden.